Have you ever had an experience where you feel at peace, like you are a part of something beyond you? I've experienced it a few times, and it's the most calming feeling when everything seems possible. A feeling of being led, the need to do something, but not sure what, only that you will recognize it when you see it. SOF 225 The spirit of the twice-born can be liberated at will. How often have you seen your brother in a state of ecstasy, which he cannot describe? It is a state beginning in quiet bliss, flowing outward in bright radiance from an inner light, which can even illuminate the material darkness about him. He hears the music of the sacred spheres and sees the throbbing pulsations of light heaving about him. Like waves upon the great seas, he becomes aware of an inflowing of unspoken knowledge from a surrounding power. It does not come from any one point, but appears to flow out of all things and to penetrate all things. Material objects lose their density and become visible within. They become as though compounded of 10,000 whirling spheres of brightness. Colors are no longer dull and restricted. They become infinite in depth and number. The spirit becomes lost in adoration and wonder at the beauty revealed in everything. The soul is aware of something glorious within all this and knows it for the spirit outflowing from its source. SOF 226 There is a complete unconsciousness of others, for the greater sight transcends their material bodies. The spirit of men are seen in a harmony of colors, and their bodies as whirling masses of power. The experiencing soul is lost in a sea of sensitivity and feeling. There is a swelling surge of harmony, a sounding of glorious chords. It is the sea that washes the shores of eternity, lapping upon the near strand. SOF 227 It is an experience that no one can give to another or adequately describe to him. It is the earned reward of those who have paid the price. It is not the only reward, for throughout the life of one who is twice born, there is boundless feeling of well-being. Sickness and disease are unknown. There is an abiding love for all men, a sense of brotherhood, and over all this the certain knowledge of the immortality of the soul and its unity with its source. SOF 228 The impressions received in moments of illumination are everlasting. They fill the spirit with a glorified splendor. There are flashes of inspired visions, and the future unrolls, and can be read as the past. There is a form of joyous rapture experienced by those who have risen from the womb of rebirth, and when it comes it can no more be held back than the sun can be stayed in its rising. SOF 229 When the body of your brother lay enwrapped within the womb of rebirth, his spirit was carried out as on the wings of a serif, and became lost in a sphere beyond understanding. He knew not which way to go or what to seek. Then like a roll of distant thunder, there was a swelling sound, and there came an over-dazzling light. It grew steadily more brilliant until your brother saw a beautiful form of divine glory arrayed in a splendor beyond all earthly bounds. The cumbersome words of earth cannot do justice to what your brother wishes to describe. It is like trying to sew a silk garment with rope, or to eat sweetmeats with a spade. Words are wholly inadequate symbols. The vision of glory which had been granted passed away, and your brother found himself in the familiar sphere of the spirit. SOF 230 Once the mysterious border has been crossed, it remains open to ever after, and can be recrossed almost at will. You are told of these things because your brother knows that the age of the twice-born draws to its close. Because of those who have devoted their lives to the discovery of truth, there is progress in the sphere of the spirit. Nothing has been lost. Nothing has been in vain. The great gates are still closed, but they are no longer bolted. Now they will open at a knock. The road is better marked and the way more clearly indicated. They who lit the path have departed from earth. But their service has not ended. They serve still in another place, while life on earth moves forward. Life in the sphere of the spirit does not stand still.
I've had experiences like this. It is the best feeling in the world. They don't last long, and after them I feel sad like I'm suffocating after being stuffed back into a box, having to rely on a sliver of vision and air when before you had no limits. I doubt it's the same. I have had no near-death experiences, and I have no control, so I can make it happen when I want. Then again, I doubt I would want to. Those are few and special, but they are gifts offered. They should be cherished as such, not expected or demanded. The memory of those times make me feel better when things are not going well. The spontaneity of when they might happen is just as important as the time I experience it making me look forward to the next time.